All right, Trek Patrol fans, so I am here at Fiesta Philippines in Rancho Cordova, um, of course, Northern California, and I have a special guest with us today, the Filipina MILF, Lucky Star. How you doing? Hey, Lucky, how's everything going? Uh, going good, going good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been uh, quite a drive up here, and uh, yeah, I feel good, yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today. Well, so, are you hungry? I am, yes. You're right. at, talking about <laughs> Filipino, of course I'm hungry. All right, let's go, ciao. Cool. All right, Lucky, so... Hi. What do you see anything that I always if for some reason whenever I go to Filipino restaurants it's like yeah. everything, and, right? And you know, my favorite my favorite to cook and to eat is curry curry. Curry curry, there you go. But I very, don't very I good. don't zhuzh it up with a lot of tripe. Not tripe, tripe. Yeah. I mean I'll 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 deal with it, but with me it's usually just like meat sauce and veggies. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Ye
planning and everything for Vegas in January. But it's not gonna be the usual, I don't plan on doing the usual thing because normally I used to do everything. I used to sign at the convention. I used to um, do the white party, the any other parties, everything. I used to do everything. And now I just, I don't even know if I wanna go to the AVN show. I want to just sit in the hotel because I'm staying in the host hotel, which is this year's Las Vegas uh, Resorts World. And I want to shoot as much content as possible because ever since the pandemic, I'm really starting to see how shooting content is key. It's basically my primary form of income now because um, once the pandemic hit, everyone's bored and, and just joining, you know, the fan sites left and right. Oh yeah. And uh, one thing that kind of sucks though, another huge source of my income was uh, something called Sex Panther. So basically any guys could, could text, call, video call to my phone, but because people hate us, uh, the SMS texting company that was hosting Sex Panther pulled the plug. So I'm like, so what are we supposed to do now? Well, you're supposed to go on the website or the app. I'm like, womp, womp, womp. Nobody's gonna wanna do it. I mean, I'll sign online tonight just to see if anyone just responds to me and, and then we'll see what happened. But that also blew up during the pandemic. And I was just really lucky, hence my name, that a lot of people were doing not that great financially. And I was making, doing well financially only also because nothing was open. So I wasn't going out, I wasn't spending anything. So all that money just kept rolling over. So I was really lucky, hence my name. Also with this glasses, I should come cl clean about a medical condition I have because um, you know, I, I look like I'm trying to look cool, but that's part of it. But I also have something called a hemifacial spasm, which is a spasm. It's a neurological condition. It's very, very rare. And right now it affects only the left side of my face, which basically means there's something pressing up against the nerve here. So when I first suspected that this, this is what I had, I, I went online to see about it. And it was actually a Filipino woman that was saying about the, the surgery that she got, where, where and I just burst into tears because I didn't want to have that. And I realized now it's like either that or just keep having a trembling, spasming face for the rest of my life. And sometimes it does it to the point where my left eye closes completely. And it's it's been affecting my mental health, it's been affecting my job as, as doing mainstream acting, it's been affecting everything. So the idea is to just somehow, whatever it takes, um, just do whatever it takes to uh, get the surgery done as quickly as possible. So this is what, coconut calamansi? That is, um, I think, boko pandan, but in a drink, in the form of a drink. So um, it has those little jelly green things, um, really delicious. Let's try it. How is it? <laughs> it's so good. Nice and sweet, huh? It's, it's basically like coconut juice, so a, little, uh -huh. a little extra, but, but yeah, uh, that's good stuff. Yeah, you know, I could put some rum in this. There you go. A umbrella, and I'm set. Oh, and an orchid. Kind there of you go. Mm. Okay, so getting back to my facial specimen when I have these glasses on, that's why. But, you know, and, and the thing is, it's my free cams glasses and we keep getting them for free wherever we go, so. But yeah, I'm preparing for the AVN Awards right now and I'm wearing a dress for, I don't even know if I'll do the red carpet. I don't know anything. I don't, I'll just show up and just see what happens. But I am making a custom made Lucky Star original dress. Yeah. Which is gonna include hundreds of heat set Aurora Borealis crystals all over it which i i sit that i brought with me here so i could just sit and watch tv and, and do that because to be honest the first part of this trip is just going to be relaxing and visiting family and stuff like that so so how, how has sacramento treated you so far so far okay but i really haven't done that much but just go to the grocery store where i'm staying right now it's it's not very um it's not much happening it's actually like surrounded by all these rv sales lots uh, but it's a, a pretty safe area, and I'm technically staying in a mobile home, but it's really bougie. It's really nice, full kitchen, full oh, uh, bathroom, uh, living room, and a bedroom. And it's just, the heater though, is so loud, I can't hear the TV sometimes. <laughs> but at least it's cozy, it's warm, it's private, and, uh, you know, it's just a little place for me to be alone with my thoughts. There you go. Yeah. And you're headed to San Francisco next? I am, yes. And that's, that's going to be a, a lot of fun. I think so, but that's just for one night. Okay, Because you know, I, I wanted to get back in time for my friend's daughter's baby shower. So, yeah. 
so that's my time while I'm here, but Northern Cali is cold. Very cold, yeah. I think it's like right now, it probably in LA, it's around 75, 80 yeah. still, yeah. which is nice and warm. Perfect weather. If you ask me right now, it's like 60 degrees Fahrenheit here in uh, Northern Cali, Sacramento. Snow? Does this snow here? Uh, no, but about, so we are about hour and a half uh, south of Reno or west something like that okay. but reno's about if you're familiar with the city it's um you know one of the major cities of nevada it's about an hour and a half away at least oh, really snow. that's it because yeah. i think i was there not accidentally uh -huh. um let's just say there was one week i spent at the love ranch but i didn't really work uh -huh. oh the love ranch the love ranch but i spent a week there uh -huh. i tried to work <laughs> didn't work and then after a while i'm like i gotta leave Yes. Yeah, but that was an interesting experience. That's also in my second book. I am still lucky. It's it's really a funny, funny, funny story about how I'm just gonna come up with all this money, and so I'll I'll, I'll work there for I don't know who knows how long. But the more I was staying there, the more I was getting a hole financially because they charge you for each day that you're there. And then they they had to you get had to get tested by the like the state. Uh -huh. And that was another, that was a lot of money. And then also the more the days I kept going on, I'm like, the more I'm here, the more in the hole I'm getting. And, You're losing and money. I was losing money. So after a while, I'm just like, I have to leave. And I did everything to win them over. They had really funny events there. They had a karaoke night one night. Uh -huh. One night they had something called the tea party where they, they we sit around and put on these little sun hats. And there's a picture of iced tea in the center. And we pour ourselves a glass and we discuss things going around the house, issues and stuff like that. It's base. And then I also was hanging out with Dennis Hoff, who unfortunately passed away not too long ago. But he was telling me about his experience in the Philippines and how he just loves the Filipino people. He loves the food, the culture. And he was there um, for because he was in the military. And uh, yeah, he was basically saying how much he loves that. But then that was karaoke night. And then I'm just like, okay, I didn't make one single dollar. In fact, by the time I left there, I was in the whole $290. Wow. I know. Because as much as I had to say, you go to a place where something like that is legal, there's always going to be someone willing to do it for way less money. And I'm yeah. just like, no, I'm, I'm, I, I can't do that. These are my standards and this is how it is. And then I left. <laughs> yeah. That's interesting. You mentioned that... Uh... Uh, Dennis, um, he was in the military and in mm -hmm. the Philippines, mm -hmm. and uh, that's you know I would I would say that relates a little bit to Trike Patrol because mm -hmm. you know what brought a lot of Americans back in the days to the Philippines was all the bases and you know and so and I always hate when I come across those guys that had an experience back in the '70s with a beautiful Filipino woman and they look at me like they want to eat me and I'm like <laughs> one of those guys, huh? I, I roll my eyes a little bit, or they they think they're experts on the Philippines. It's like shut up, dude. You know, <laughs> just because they know how to say a couple things in Tagalog, they they think they're experts on the entire country. So, so is there anything you want to know? Any um, questions for me or? So have you? So you said you haven't been really shooting lately, right? Yeah, just oh, a lot of it is is the fact that um, I just shoot content. So whenever I'm in Vegas, I just shoot as much as I can, uh -huh. or I do the uh, I do it when the opportunity presents itself. Um, but when it comes to like the main companies, there's not that many anymore. They're very, very selective. Um, so we just get work where we can. Thank God for the fan sites because that's been kind of my saving grace. Uh, but I'm just trying to concentrate on veering away from the adult industry. And it's not that I don't want to, it's not that I don't love it. It's just that I've reached a certain age and then I, I just think, I'm like, oh my God, seriously? I didn't want to do this 10 years ago when it was another milestone um, birthday. But now I'm just like, oh my God, seriously, I'm still doing this? But I don't want to be that person that's going to be in granny porn, you know? And um, if I keep going, that's that's where it's going to lead. Um, You've already accomplished so much. And you for sure have made you. a huge, huge name for yourself. Thank you. So you, you've already, you know, done so much. and. Uh, no, I'm curious to see what other uh, milestones you uh, strive to uh, to reach. Okay, do you want to hear one milestone? This is kind of funny, actually. I, I just got hired from a Polynesian dance company. Oh, interesting. So, so that, that'll be interesting, but I still have to go through the entire rehearsal process, and then they're going to perform, and I never thought I'd be able to do that. I thought it was always going to be too old to do that. Um, so... 
but I also just want to do more mainstream. And I always like, like I ran into Annie Cruz not that long ago. And, you know, she said she's retired and whenever, you know, she's saying what she's doing now, but still it, it just, it just kind of seems all jumbled, but um, yeah, she's, she's something else. Uh -huh. But she's been retired now for, she said, uh, about seven years. Wow. Mm -hmm. But when I first met her, I was so starstruck. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's Annie Cruz. Uh -huh. And I don't know, have you met her at all? Or... She's off the charts. She's, I haven't, she, I haven't met her yet. She is off the charts. Basically, she feature danced over in here in, um, where is it? Crazy Horse. Oh, Crazy in, Horse. In, in, in San Francisco. And she basically, I think they had to put a stop to her show because she basically went this up the other hole. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like that. Yeah. And um, like her ex-husband was a performer named Jack Lawrence. And he basically, if he couldn't satisfy her, he had to call in for backup. Wow. Yeah. And that's the thing, I like, she could just tear me apart if she wanted to, but she's a really good friend of mine, so yeah, that was really nice to see her. That was on a podcast my friend was doing, so, okay. so yeah. yeah, but yeah. she's full on retired, but um, still here and there, now and then, popping in, saying hi, and that's about it. She has a boyfriend now, she's very in love, and um, yeah, and he's a good looking guy, and they seem to get along great, and so I, I wish, I she's doing well. Yeah. It's good to hear, good to hear. Yeah. So we had some food come up, um, arrive at our table, and you had mentioned one of your favorite Filipino foods was kare kare. kare. kare yes. All right, so let's take a look at this. Ooh, okay, sauce, nice sauce consistency. Oh my god. I don't see any tripe because that's a good thing because I I know you say you don't do the tripe and. Uh, well, I don't, but if you do, you know, more power to you. But tripe to me is like rubber honeycomb. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Unless it's cooked for like 20 hours, right? And I know the Latinos love the the minudo. The yes. Yeah. Yes. So, stuff. so there's got to be some something good about it that I'm missing. So you know, I'll, I'll have it sometimes, but honestly, it's it's just not not what I'm into. How about this sauce thing on that? You know, I'm sure you know what this is, right? Do I wanna... do, but but I don't use it. I mean, uh -huh. and that's the thing. I, there's if you could teach me how to use that the right way, maybe I could learn. That's the the fish sauce, yeah. That is um fish. Uh, paste. Paste. Yeah, pagoong. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it always goes with the kare kare. And um, what's this? This is here. This here is the lechon koali. Ooh. So um, as you know, the lechon, um, the whole lechon is the whole pig, right? Yeah. So this is a way to where um, lechon koali is pretty much cooked in the koali. Koali is a um, is a pan. Mm -hmm. So it's just fried pork. Um, it's a way to get a chone without having to roast the whole pork. Oh and you have this sauce too right here. Um, it's like it's usually like the mang tomas that comes in the um, in the jar. Okay. But I want to say that's made from like drippings of like um, and also uh, liver. They they ground it up or they pure, uh, puree it or something. Okay. So yeah, it's good stuff. You wanna. I know we're waiting on the rice, but you want to give like any of this a try? Oh, I, of course. I, I don't know. Twist my arm. Twist, twist, twist my arm. Okay. Some of this. Some of this. Some of this. I can't wait to hear that crunch when you uh, bite down on it. <laughs> wait, I'm stealing the, the, the serving fork. Okay. I, I usually just have it like this, but I'll try some of this with it. So is that how you do it? Just like that? Oh yeah. Ooh. Just like that. Okay. 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 Oh, I hear something oh. sizzling. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> food excites me. Especially good food. There we go. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. So this is the sizzling uh, bangos milkfish uh, sisi. So of course sisig is a very very popular dish in the Philippines. Um, commonly served at like bars and you know goes, goes great with like all the liquor and all that. So what is this? What have we oh, here? Oh, there goes the garlic rice. Garlic rice. <laughs> Just got to do the rice with gotta Filipino food, it. right? Oh, yeah. It's not right without it. Cool. Okay. Let's eat. Bon appetit. So we're gonna focus on Lucky for a little bit. Uh, while she uh, chows on some of this delicious Chow food. Down. Okay, the secret to that is, is first of all, with the spoon, you sort of like mix it in, 
with the, like that, you sort of tear apart the meat. And you gotta have just the perfect meat to rice ratio. So, and, and that's the thing, it's just kind of like, if the flavors of the meat are overpowered, the rice just, I'm drooling talking about this. The rice just neutralizes enough that you could have it. What? Well, no! I think Lucky's enjoying the curry curry. I, I probably won't speak for the next 30 minutes. So. <laughs> mm. And they say when, when the table's quiet, you know that the food is good. So the food is good, yes. Mm. 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 It's nice to see that we made Lucky happy. Oh my gosh. You, this, this is the way from my heart, my friends. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's loving the, the chonkwale. It is quite crispy. It's oh, like yeah. crispy on the outside. It's juicy on the inside. I don't want corn anymore. I went to the food network. There that's, you go. That's my point. <laughs> if there's garlic butter involved, that's it. It's over. So Lucky approves. The... 100%. I'm going to drag my friends here. I'm like, we're going to there drive go. six hours <laughs> for some Filipino food. They'd be like, okay. Well, as long as you drive. How about the, the sisig? Mm. Want to give it a try? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, re, uh, let's play a little Tetris here. Actually, well, cause it's a handle because I put it this way. I, I need to stop being a wuss. <laughs> I'm going to steal your napkin oh, first. There you go. There we go. That's what I need. Christmas, I think Give it away. I'll give you a napkin back. Okay, let's try some of this. Mm -hmm. Masarap, as they say in Tagalog. <laughs> I think that's like the best thing I've ever had in my mouth. And that's really saying something. <laughs> I was going to say, are you sure, Lucky? <laughs> I don't know. There have been a lot of things in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this is pretty much up there. Well, I'm going to let Lucky enjoy some of this food. And uh, I'm going to enjoy some of myself. And we'll get right back and see what Lucky enjoyed most out of all these delicious uh, Filipino foods. <laughs> Well, Lucky looks happy. <laughs> Mama's very happy. There you go. Mama has her tummy full, and I got the, the jeggings, so that's a good thing. So what, what did you uh, like out of all these uh, delicious Filipino... Um... I am very, very surprised. Like, Norman and Kari Kari is my favorite. And it was good. Nice consistency. The, the, the sauce, interesting. Very, very interesting. It was a little more of a different flavor than I'm used to, because as much as I hate to say it, I'm used to more of a peanut flavor, like it's like peanut butter. Uh -huh. My favorite was was the um, lechon. Lechon koale. You know why? Why is that lucky? Because when you bit into it, you heard that crunch. Yeah, exactly. It was extremely tender mm -hmm. on, in the middle, but on the edges, crunch, like a nice solid crunch. This this was good too because one thing I, I liked about it is that it's, it's not like one whole hard piece of fish. Uh -huh. They they made the the meat real real tender inside and shredded it. Tastes so, so fresh too. It really did, and that's the thing. I give this place ten out of ten stars. Also, one another thing is really really good because I am still trying to perfect it is the garlic rice. Garlic rice. Because um, it's just like Mama makes it. You know what I mean? She she's got that garlic to rice ratio just uh -huh. so perfect. And I have yet to do that. I do it in a way that, that like um, the garlic's so like overpowered. Uh -huh. And I gotta watch my mom when I visit her just to see how she does it, to see just the technique. Cause you know, I gotta I gotta learn. <sighs> but yeah, definitely the lechon is my favorite. Well, I'm glad you uh, enjoyed all this delicious food, Lucky. And of course, uh, thank you for, for joining me for thank lunch. You. Um, for was, this is great. Yeah, so much this. fun, you know? Yeah, um, thank you. Good food, 
great company, great company. beautiful Filipina MILF who has been featured on Trike Patrol twice and yeah. most recent was a couple months ago so yeah it was really really nice to meet you today Lucky Thank and you. um you know yeah hope to see you back soon Malagayang Pasko <laughs> Salamat, Salamat.